Hello and welcome. Do you remember the good times when you used to be able to use WhatsApp on tablets? However, ever since WhatsApp has changed the authorization method, it is no longer possible to restore the application on tablet and use it. But where is a will, there is a way. I'm working currently on integrating WhatsApp in a tablet using Tasker and also doing the same on the computer so you could chat freely from different devices. As you can see, I'm just about to send myself a message on WhatsApp using a tablet. Uh, this tablet is LTE enabled, however, I'm just gonna use it to send myself a simple WhatsApp message, the rest is gonna be done over the network. This is still work in progress. You'll see few error messages from auto remote because uh, the messages are not being delivered to other devices or to the computer yet. My WhatsApp message has been delivered to the mobile and now mobile is responding, sending a notification to my tablet. So I'm just going to close the WhatsApp on the tablet and close the tablet itself. So let's say I have a fresh WhatsApp message on the device appearing there on the screen. My phone is far away and uh, well, I just have a tablet with me and I just wanna see what's going on. So as soon as the message is there, it will be synchronized to all of the devices, in this case the tablet. When I turn on the screen, the message will be prepared for me and ready. I can see the previous messages in the conversation and of course reply back to the sender. The message will be sent back to my mobile and sent from my mobile's WhatsApp. If successful, I should receive a WhatsApp notification on my tablet sent from my phone. It takes a moment to synchronize it and note that the text won't disappear from the text input unless it's been passed over and sent successfully. The message will appear on the device that is activated first and it will cancel the pending state on the other devices. This requires a little bit more testing, especially with multiple contacts and multiple devices. However, once successful, I'll change it into a tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that showcase. Let me know what you think in the comments below, like the video if you liked it, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.